Hello everyone, today is our last day of the Nile Cruises, day four, and it's really early. I had to get up at four o'clock in the morning so that we could do a hot air balloon. And then after that, we're going to the Valley of the Kings and the Queens, see the tomb of Ramses, and then we are taking a go bus over to the beach town of Hergada. So we'll see you there. Just take off, you go with the wind. No control in the direction like the plane. Control up and down only. Here in Luxor, especially, we have control in the direction. Not 100%, but we have some control. How? Here we fly inside the air current. Different high, different direction. Different high, different speed. As example, 10 meter high wind go this way, 100 meter this way, 1000 this way, 2000 this way. This one fast, this one slow. <laughs> But every day, like first time fly. Try to learn more and more. Never say experience and relax. No. Try to make it good. You have excellent points. Egyptian pounds to get in. <laughs> These views are incredible. I think we're gonna take a little tram to get closer to the entrance. This is the temple of Hatshepsut. She was an ancient queen in ancient Egypt. And there's tombs on either side. And then there's these uh, statues here, which were sphinxes, and they lined this entire, this uh, little road here. This is the goddess Hathor, and this is in this is her in her animal form, and she is blessing Queen Hatshepsut. You can tell by the cow is licking her hand. So here's the goddess Hathor, and below is Queen Hatshepsut. She is taking the milk from the goddess. It's so well preserved, the paint. Got the reds and yellows and greens. So many incredible pieces of artwork in here and stories and hieroglyphs. It's jaw dropping. I forgot to mention this uh, temple is pretty small. So we're going to go on the other side to the Valley of the Kings where Ramsey's tomb is at. Egyptian pounds to go into three tombs. Uh, actually, 260 Egyptian pounds to get into the Valley of the Kings, and this gives us access for three tombs. Three tombs. You could pay more if you want for additional tombs. And the first tomb that we are going to visit is the tomb of Merenpeta, who was the son of King Ramses II. A lot of these tombs go down really far, really deep. I think one of the tombs goes down at least a kilometer or more. But I don't think this one goes down that far. But it's still quite a journey. But we have to climb back up out of here. <laughs> Look at the colors in the wall. Still very well preserved. King Marimpa, son of Ramses II. This is where he was buried. This is the sarcophagus. This is the tomb of King Ramses III. On the bus on the way here, I was like, Shukran. This one looks a lot more colorful than the tomb of Marenpata. And 
doesn't look as deep either. But there's a lot more hieroglyphs here on the wall. And the colors, the colors are just so well preserved. This is a jackal. Jackal god. He is the god of mummification. I commonly, you commonly see this all throughout Egypt, along with the, the goddess Horus, which is the falcon head. And Ramses III didn't rule that long, he only ruled two years, which is why this tomb is a little shorter. So this is the tomb of King Ramses I, and I think this one is probably the steepest to get in here, get out, but the shortest. So King Ramses I, and then the previous tomb that we visited, uh, King Ramses III, I believe. So it looks like those two tombs, or these two tombs, are the most colorful, more so than Marin Patas, uh tomb. Wow, look at that. <laughs> it's a her face. And then there's the jackal god. Again, god of mummification. And of course, this guy's everywhere. I wish, I, could, I wish we could decipher these stories. I'm not sure what this means. Looks like there's women here. Looks like a stink. So King Ramses the first, King Ramses the third, and the Toss tombs. They're all great, but the last two I think are the best because they're the most colorful. What did you think of the tombs in the Valley of the Kings? It was. I'm just the, still amazed because they're well preserved. They still have the tombs inside. It's really colorful. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth it. Um, I'm just amazed that, yep. they're, that they're so intact. Yeah, me too. Had a, that was an incredible experience. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then, um, so this the ticket is for three tombs, and normally your guide will tell you which ones are the best ones to visit and of course you can pay extra to visit like the more extravagant mm -hmm. tombs mm -hmm. and i believe king tut is one of those forgot how many um pounds I think that it was, was a thousand to two thousand maybe yeah so i mean if you want to pay extra to see extra tombs go for it but um i think we were good with with seeing the three that we saw today yep i agree <laughs> is pretty affordable it's about 450 egyptian pounds which is about oh i don't know between 20 and 25 bucks this is for two people so i think it's pretty affordable i'm not sure if i could recommend go bus because uh, it's on the cheaper side and it's about a four hour drive from luxor to Hergada. but if you're on a budget uh, definitely go for it or you can also fly from luxor to um, Hergada, which you might have to stop in Cairo. Well, I got a flat tire. <laughs> it looks like they're gonna change it pretty quick. But it's really hot out here, so hopefully we don't get another flat tire. Hello everyone, so I just wanted to close this video out. We did a hot air balloon ride today in Luxor, uh, and I highly, highly, highly recommend doing that. It's extremely beautiful and a one-of-a-kind experience. And then we went to the valley of the kings and saw some incredible tombs of King Ramses and then uh, after that we had to take a go bus from Luxor to Hergada that's a four hour journey and it costs 450 Egyptian pounds which I believe is about 20 to 25 dollars uh, United States dollars for two people and uh, but yeah then we got a flat tire <laughs> and that was an interesting experience but they were able to change it out and then we had to take a taxi from the go bus station here in Hergada to our hotel and that was about 100 Egyptian pounds but just make sure don't get scammed if you give the taxi driver 200 make sure to get 100 back because sometimes that will give you the incorrect change and then tomorrow we're gonna go to the Gifton Islands and do some snorkeling and hang out on the beach 
and that should be really fun and relaxing. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you found this video valuable, helpful, or, or informative in any sort of way, please do us a favor and click on the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.